I'm just going to show quickly how you can use Idocio to insert learning goals with a net met not yet met uh, sort of tracker. Uh, we'll be using the rubric function, but I'll essentially be showing you how to manipulate it from being a traditional rubric into something that works a little better with learning goals and success criteria. So the first thing that you'll need to do is click the plus to add a column, but we're going to choose the rubric selection. Once we do this, we're going to choose edit so that we can create our own rubric. At this point, you'll want to set the rubric for the number of columns that you need. We'll use two for again, met and not yet met, and the number of rows for success criteria. Now, my rubric is already in an Excel spreadsheet, or in this case, a Sheets spreadsheet. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll grab the information from there using the import rubrics data function. So I'm just going to switch apps into Sheets, and I'll make sure that my rubric is selected. I'll click down to choose Copy. And then I head back into Idocio and choose the Import Rubrics Data option and paste from Spreadsheet and includes header. So you'll see that it's come in. I've got my met, not yet met, as well as my success criteria. What I will do as well is I'm going to change the information here for met and the point value to one. And for not yet met, I'll be changing the point value to zero. Now, it's important that staff not think of those point values as grades, but simply how many of the success criteria had the students hit. I'll go back to edit so that I can change the name of the rubric to be in line with the learning goal. So I'll pop back into my spreadsheet where my learning goal is, and I'm going to copy the text of my learning goal and fill it in here. Now, of course, um, you can just type that information in. I find it easier to work on a computer in terms of uh, creating these learning goals uh, and typing them out. It also helps to have a copy that's external for my dossier. So that's why I do it in Sheets first and then use the import function just so that I'm, I'm able to work on a computer rather than the iPad, which tends to be a little bit cumbersome for, uh, for typing. So now that I've done that, I'm going to click Save. Uh, the column header will be there, uh, the rubrics there. So now I've got my save. When it comes time for an assessment to happen, I can click on this, double click on the student. That rubric will come up specifically for that student. We see our learning goal there, and we're able to assess whether certain things have been met or not yet met. And of course, add comments uh, through typing, as well as insert all the different evidence that IDOCIO is able to take. Okay. So uh, hopefully this was helpful in terms of uh, showing you how you can use the rubrics function in IDOCIO in order to create a learning goal focused, success criteria focused assessment uh, sort of framework. Thanks very much.